the reading blocks. I'm sitting here with a big boy on my lap. <laughs> I mean, he definitely is a lap dog. He just is on my whole body. Um, but yeah, I wanted to start the vlog and I wanted to check in with you what I'm reading. Let me hold it up, right? Um, I'm sorry for this being like really uh, wobbly, but um, I can't stand up, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, I'm currently reading Witch King by Martha Wells. And um, it is really interesting. And um, now we have this typical like split between um, what is happening now and then what happened in the past. And by all of it, we have our main character, who's Kai. And he is out of hell. He is a demon. Um, some kind of like really high ranking demon, it seems, and they can get into mortal bodies. And for some reason, he like really likes being in a mortal body, and so he stays in the overworld a lot, which seems to not be what demons are typically supposed to do. Kind of like they go into human bodies, but obviously, but seemingly not as long. Um, so yeah, he is. Not your normal demon, <laughs> but I really like him, and he has woken up um, from being captured and with like a friend of his, and they are still missing two of their friends, but they found a girl who was supposed to be like um, a sacrifice to him. It's all really weird still, but yeah, I'm slowly learning what the book is all about. And um, through, like, the past sections, we get a little bit of, like, the history of the world. Um, I have to say, a thing that I find to be really, really... Oh, sorry. Um, really, really hard and a little bit annoying is how many characters there are and how many names we get. Um, because before the book even starts, let me see if I can show you with one hand... Yeah, we have three pages, I think they are. Um, complete. These are just names and who they are. Um, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, here we have, like, we have, like, two full pages, pretty much. Here are the other two, you know. And for me, that is kind of really... Like, I have a hard time <laughs> keeping the people straight. Um, and remembering who's who, even though I'm only like 70 pages in. So yeah, might be too big of a cast, but the story is really interesting. The world is really interesting. They are traveling um, by whale with like shelves on their backs and they can travel through that. And yeah, it's a really interesting concept, but uh, I'm not so sure when it comes to like the amount of people in the book and stuff. It, it's a little bit like... Hard to remember. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I'm really enjoying that one right now. Um, I did edit one video already today. I filmed two yesterday for like this week and next week. So I have those two already done. And I already edited one. So I only have to edit the second one. But I might do that tomorrow. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm chilling now. I'm cuddling with the dog, obviously. It's... Um, not it's still warm but not as warm as last week so the dog wants to cuddle again because last week as it was so warm he didn't really want to cuddle um and now that it's not as warm he's like a lap dog again i mean he is really cute look at him he's the cutest doggo but uh, yeah i also want to do some gaming to be honest I'm in a little bit of a mood for that, and I still need to do my bullet journal, my reading journal for uh, this month. I haven't started that yet, because, I don't know, work has been a lot these past few weeks, and my health hasn't been the best, so I'm trying to kind of do it all, but yeah, I'm struggling a little bit. I haven't done an Instagram post in like two months, I think. I need to start doing them again, but yeah, it's just something always gets on the back burner and at the moment it's Instagram posts but um, yeah I hope you're having a great week and I will probably give you another update tonight uh, for like the audiobook I'm listening to and stuff like that maybe if I read a little bit more physically I will give you an update on that but okay 
um, I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> Should be Wednesday. Um, let's do a quick reading check-in. I'm kind of disappointed, which like, I don't know. Um, I'm still reading Witch King. It's just taking me so long. I feel like the book is so slowly paced that I really struggle with that. I feel like nothing really happened yet. It's just a lot of like history lessons and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm, I'm well, not halfway through, but I'm getting there, you know, and um, it makes it hard to read for me. I don't know why, I just, I don't work well with this pacing, which is a little bit sad. And then the second thing, I think, it feels so weird. In, in my feeling, the world isn't that big, but you have this space and there are so many different like races and then you have like the immortal people are like immortal i don't think they're really immortal but you know um and then you have the demons and they all kind of share the space and it feels so overstuffed for how small the world feels at the moment which is really weird kind of i don't know i don't like that aspect um it, it feels off to me to be honest which is why i'm a little bit skeptical about the book at the moment i like the story i like the characters mostly but yeah the pacing and the amount of different like races and then also words and languages and all of that feels a little bit overdone but yeah i will continue with it and hopefully um i will finish it and will like it but yeah, at the moment, at the moment, I'm not convinced, to be honest. I don't think it's bad. I'm just not convinced it's really, it's great, you know? I think at the moment it's just like, yeah, it's, it's a fine book. But it isn't convincing, sadly, at the moment. And then my Ilumi crate just came, so I thought we'd unbox this one and see what book is in the well, last month box so it should be the june box you know but um yeah let's look into that i'm excited to see what is in here um and yeah so the theme was night and day so um let's see Ooh, oh there's a ceramic bone in here which to be honest this is like a really cute design on the um packaging so if the bowl looks as oh there are two bowls in there oh my god oh they are they are really really pretty i don't know with the lighting how good you can see that but we have this like cream or white colored one with suns all over and then we have this black one with the moon on it. I have to see from which book they are, but I think they are actually from the main book from this from this month because um, it's the same color theme. But yeah, these are amazing. I can never have enough bowls, so these two are absolutely fantastic. Um, let's see what is an unnamed brown envelope. Let's see. Oh, coasters. I love the coasters I have from, I think, a different, well, a fairy loot, I think they are. But yeah, these are also great. I just can never have enough coasters, to be honest, because we have multiple floors. So obviously you, you don't want to, like, bring them up and down and stuff like that again. Then we have, is this all themed for the same book? Um, this is a new like pillowcase, which I might just swap my old one out. Oh, but it's when I get a new one, I always swap them. Um, yeah, not my colors per se, like I'm not much of like a blue or orange person, but like, you know, pillowcases are always great. And then we have two pins, one with the moon and one with the sun. So yeah, I think these are actually all the theme of the book ok 
Okay, so the book is called The Sun and the Void by Gabriela Romero La Cruz. Yeah, this looks stunning. I love it. But yeah, everything has the same theme in this box, which to be honest, I'm all for it. Um, the back says, Reina was a creature of the void with a whispering monstrous heart. Ooh, oh, look at this. I just love, love, love. Pretty end pages. And yeah, the rest of the book is equally as stunning. So let's give it a quick read what it's about. Hopefully not a romance, but we'll see. That sounds actually really interesting. So we have two girls um, as main characters. One is Reina, um, and she is pretty much on the edges of society. And then she goes on like a dangerous journey, gets hurt really bad and is dependent on her grandmother from that on uh, and on the magic of her grandmother. And then we have e Eva, who is illeg illegitimate. E illeg Illegitimate? I'm gonna put the word here, I have no idea how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. <laughs> and of mixed heritage, and so she's her family's shame because her family is like really, really out there. And um, yeah, magic is calling to her and it's actually forbidden to use the magic where she's living. And so um, yeah, he she also walks a dangerous path and we don't get to know more. So there's a lot left to the imagination and you know what? I think this sounds amazing. Um, yeah, I will have to look into this and hopefully read it soon because, let's be honest, this book looks amazing um, and I'm all for a good new fantasy. Well, hopefully <laughs> they won't all be disappointing, but you know, I'm always for a new fantasy and let's see if they are actually all from this book inspired, um, but I, I actually think they are. Yeah, these actually don't say any like um, themes for the things. So yeah, these are all like sun and moon themed uh, and all according to the book, which to be honest, I really love. So a uh, thumbs up for this box. I really love it. And uh, yeah, I will try to read it a little bit more today. I can't promise that because I am so struggling with that. And also, I also listened to an audiobook. I will have to put the title here. I totally forgot to talk about it on Monday. I just didn't like it um, because it is about like stupid people but like it is mo like it has a good theme because it talks about how we perceive people to be stupid and that everybody can be stupid and that it's really not like saying something about like our intelligence or anything like that more like how people behave themselves and you know like circumstances and stuff like that <laughs> But half of the book are like interviews told one on one. So maybe like how you would do like a documentary, like a crime documentary, stuff like that, where you have interviews. But for me, it doesn't work in book form. So yeah, I found it to be incredibly annoying, even though the topic is great. But I cannot do with the way the book is written. So yeah, I did finish it. But yeah, it's two stars. I don't don't enjoy that kind of format in a book, I found out. So yeah, can't really change the fact that I don't like the format. Um, but I think this topic was actually kind of interesting, you know, like checking your own perception of stuff and like being reminded of not calling people stupid just because they do something stupid because doing something stupid doesn't have anything to do whether the pe person is stupid or not, you know, and that being like really weird categories we push people into so um yeah it was interesting so the title is this one i just wouldn't recommend it because of the format but i think that's like either you like it or you won't so if you like the format of interviews and then her talking about other stuff then it might work for you i'm sorry i'm really distracted but i think it's just started raining here yeah <laughs> um but yeah so not a recommendation for that. For the fairy loot, as always, I really like the stuff. You know, bowls I can always use. So yeah, but these are great. I love the pins, even though I only display them on like a wall and nowhere else. And yeah, this isn't like totally my colors, but you can always use them, you know? Otherwise I will just um, give it to someone else. But yeah, I will see you with an update whenever I get the chance to check in with you. <laughs>
So, I'm just back from the dog walk, so excuse how I look. But I continued with Witch King today, and I have to say, I only have like 115 pages left, so I will finish it tomorrow on Friday. But the pacing is not picking up. I like the story, I like the characters, I really, really dislike the pacing of the book, and it's not making for a great read, to be honest, because the pacing just throws everything off, to be honest, for me. I'm really sensitive to the pacing of the book. Um, I'm okay with like a lot of like travel descriptions and stuff, but this just feels nothing happens really in the book, you know? Like, the stories of this that happened so far, I would feel like would be like the first 100, 150 pages of like a different fantasy book. But I'm like at page 305, you know, you can see, I know the lighting isn't the best, but you know, I only have 100 pages left. Um, and if you think about it being split half the past, half the present, it really isn't much story that is coming anymore. So yeah, sadly, I, I'm not really the biggest fan. I don't know, it's, it's not hitting a nerve with me. And I'm a little bit sad about it, especially thinking that it might be a standalone. It, looking online, it seems to be a standalone. And it feels like the first book in a series. So, yeah, not that impressed, to be honest. But I will, f I will finish it tomorrow and then I can give you, like, my opinion. Um, you know, for, like, maybe the last hundred pages will be, like, really epic and, like, make it better <laughs> but yeah at the moment I'm like really thinking it's like more like a week three stars sadly even though I do like the world I would love to hear more about the world I just think there are so many missed opportunities to make the story more interesting and better that it's kind of sad to be honest so yeah not the best read sadly um and yeah also I also I started a new audiobook it's Chernobyl a book about what happened at Chernobyl and but like with like looking into the politics and everything socially around the catastrophe and I only ever watched one documentary about that and even then there wasn't like the most information so it is incredibly interesting the audiobook and yeah I will definitely give you like more of an update once I'm further into it because I'm not that far into it right now but it's really interesting to like learn what all caused the catastrophe and then I think later on he will talk about like the heroes of the catastrophe and all of that you know which is incredibly interesting to hear and is really heartbreaking in the story and yeah in the beginning he talks a lot about like people trying to get like into positions where they have like a lot of money but also like really struggling because of the system that um was there, you know, um, because communism just really isn't a great thing. Um, but yeah, it's it's really interesting. I like learning more about catastrophes like that um, to really like learn what happened, what went wrong. And yeah, the book's really, really great. So um, yeah, really interested to listen to more of that later because that is what I will do in like a few minutes. I will do a little bit of gaming before that. Um, because I've got myself some chips, so I will snack those, do a little bit of gaming, and then I will listen to my audiobook. And I will check in with you, but once I finish Witch King tomorrow, so I can give you, like, a review of the final pages, you know. Okay, we need to have a little talk. I'm sorry, I saddled the dog, <laughs> because he's having a nap right now. I just finished Witch King and sadly it didn't get better. I have a lot of mixed feelings about this book. Um, you know, at the moment I feel like it's a middle book and it suffers from middle book syndrome, but it's a standalone. And I have a hard time like putting into thoughts what I feel about the book, but um, for one, I think there is nothing happened in this book. It feels a lot like telling you a history and then the part, like the current part, really was just so little actual story with anything happening that it felt like nothing happened in the book. 
and the conflict really wasn't that much there. Um, just the the um, twist of the story really nulled anything that happened in the book, which I was really sad about somehow because it was just like so so meh, you know. Um, I don't really know. I'm sad. I like the characters. I would really love to see more about them. I think I would have loved for this to be a series with the first book being the past story, the second book being the current story with like more details, a little bit more drama, a little bit more stuff happening. And then a third book maybe about the future. Um to learn more about the world because I like the concept of the world. Another thing I struggle with is because it feels like we're in the middle of a story, there are things that get mentioned once where you have no idea what they mean or what they are supposed to be and then they never get mentioned again. And it feels like there's something you should have known but you didn't, you don't because it's you know, there isn't another book to read before this to get more context for those things. So yeah, I don't know. I I'm, I don't know. I like the concept of the story. I like the characters. I really like the world. I just would have loved to know more about the world because there's so little told. And I just don't think the concept really works to make an interesting book. And I'm really sad about that. Which is... I don't know, I, I'm, I'm sad that I don't like it as much as I would love to like it um, because, I don't know, I, I also love the way, like, the, the voice, how the story is told and there are so many little things I, I would just love to know more about. For example, um, the thing that came on the... Um, on the um, bookmark. This is a hard pearl. One character has one or two and they can communicate in their minds through the hard pearl. We don't get any context why there's just once mentioned that one character didn't want one. I would have loved to know more about that fact. Like how, how does this come to be? The same thing for the whale. There's only one in the beginning of the book and they let it go free because giving them the shell seems to torture the whale. But they are never mentioned again. Just like a small bit in the beginning. But I mean, they are on the, the thing here and then, you know, we have this one here. No idea what this statue is supposed to be. It isn't mentioned um, in the story, you know. It's just there's so much more I would want to know. And there was so much stuff in here that really was unnecessary. And yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sad. I just think I that is just where I am. I will give it a really weak three stars, I think because there are a lot of like nice ideas in here and I don't know there's there are a lot of things in here that I like I cannot give it two stars I can't bring myself to do that um, but yeah it's also not the book I would have wanted it to be which uh, I'm yeah I, I don't like that fact but it, you know it happens um, you can't love every book obviously but um, I'm still sad about it But, you know, that's just what happens. Well, yeah, and also it took me five days to finish this, which is in, like, so much time to finish a book with this, of this size because it was so, so slow to read, um, which did annoy me a little bit, I have to say. I'm, I'm, I love books that have, like, a, a better flow. By reading them, this one, I felt like... It didn't really hold my attention that nicely, and the flow wasn't there. So yeah. Oh well, <laughs> I'm a little bit heartbroken, but only a little bit. Yeah, other than that, the day, well, it's Friday now. 
Um, it's now the weekend. I have a little bit of time to chill. Um, also, I continued with the um, Chernobyl audiobook yesterday. And that is such a heartbreaking story. You know, there are so many facts I didn't know about. Um, you know, you never really officially, like, got told. And I mean, I think everybody knows a little bit about Chernobyl. At least, like, in the European... Um, the, the European, if you're European, you probably know a lot about it. Um, but yeah, there are really heartbreaking stories. And there, there was one, one of the firefighters who um, went to put the fires out. And nobody told them that there was radioactive stuff there. Because nobody wanted to be... Um, responsible for what happened which like is a hell of a problem um and yeah he went there and obviously he got radiation sickness and he died from that and he he and his wife they were well he wasn't a guy of a lot of words so his love language with his wife was writing letters and he um convinced I think his parents to take his wife and drive away because once he realized he got sick he was afraid for his wife and so she wrote him a letter that they were leaving and where he could find them once he finished with his job and he never got to read that letter and it's still lying on the table because you obviously can't go back to the houses and just listening to that is it's so heartbreaking because it was so 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 preventable Chernobyl was a thing that never needed to happen and you know um, I mean it's it's a long time ago now well a long time ago but you know it is obviously like a long time ago um, from my perspective but still it's like the fact that so many people they didn't do horrendous things but because of their inaction so many people got hurt just because nobody wanted to be responsible because they would look bad it's just i don't know it's 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 heartbreaking you know it makes me really angry um and you can see that obviously we haven't learned that much because there are still companies out there that do things like that you know Ignore safety precautions, um, not wanting to be like the bad one and not taking responsibility for what they do to their workers and stuff. It's just like, and so obviously companies still do stuff like that, only that from Chernobyl, is, it wasn't the, the company, it was the state, which like, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's horrible. But I think the book is like really good to learn more about it because I think personally that we should all learn more about stuff like that to not make the mistakes the people did back then. So yeah, it's 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 an incredible read, I have to say. And I really love the audiobook. It's it's the narrator is perfect for the job. Um, you know, it it's 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 a heartbreaking read, but it's like I think a necessary read. And so yeah. I I I, I enjoy it. But, you know, my heart is breaking while it's listening to it. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I will give that five stars. I mean, obviously, I am think I'm like 45% through, so I'm not even near the end. But yeah, if nothing changes, that is definitely a five star book. Um, I will put the cover here again if I haven't put it in the vlog yet. Um, just so, you know, you can take a look at it. I don't know, I'm not even a person that is really that much interested in history. I just, I, I love learning from other people's stories. And I think that is like a really important story. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting reading combination, I have to say. <laughs> so yeah, I now need to pick some new books up. And I think I know what I will do next reading wise. So I will get it now so I can show you. I hate myself for it, but you know, I still have to do it, um, even though I'm not looking that much forward to it, but I need to finish this series. I think I decided to not buy 
part 11. I don't own it yet. I don't think there's a need for me to buy it. I, I'm not enjoying the series anymore. So, um, yeah, I will probably not buy that and just read these three and then mark the series as done because these are the ones I own. Why spend more money, you know? Um, so, yeah, next up, I will read these three. Um, hopefully, I will get at least one done tomorrow. Okay, so I had to... <laughs> Sorry, I had to stop filming, my partner just called. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> bearing that um, pause. Yeah, I will read these three. Um, my plan is to read at least one full one tomorrow and then maybe a half one if I get through it because these aren't the biggest, but um, sometimes if I'm annoyed by the characters and stuff, I have a hard time, you know, getting through them. Uh, but yeah. These three are next, and then hopefully I will get through more. Um, I will now do some gaming, enjoy my Friday, and I will continue with my audiobook later on and do some more Legos. Um, so I can give you an update on the audiobook tomorrow, and hopefully give you the review for Swords of Mars. We'll see. At least it's the plan. <laughs> we need to have a quick talk. I just started Swords of Mars, and... How dumber can it get? In this book, John Carter is the main character again, just like in the first two or three. Apparently his wife gets kidnapped again, just like in the first book. And um, yeah, in the first few pages of this one, he talks about like there being the, this guild system for assassins and kidnappers. This is book eight. In every book someone has been kidnapped and we only know now that there are guilds that was never mentioned in the first seven books even though there were always kidnappings and just as chance would have it all of those kidnappings have nothing to do with the guild like really yeah so technically I guess we're reading book one again, because John Carter's wife, well, she was then the woman he wanted to marry, but, you know, no, she's his wife, and she apparently gets kidnapped again, and I'm not looking forward to this one, but, yeah, I will try to read as much as I can today, which probably will not be much, <laughs> and I will finish this one tomorrow, definitely, I won't give myself more time for it. I don't think I'm ready for this ride. It is now Saturday. Um, it is already 28 degrees here. It is way too warm for anything. But I did want to give you like one last check-in um, before I end the vlog. And I did finish a book. And that is Swords of Mars, the eighth novel in the Martian series by Edgar Rice Burroughs. And I have to say, <laughs> I did go on a little rant yesterday. It was better than expected. Um, I gave it three stars. In this one we have John Carter again. I think this is by far the best like story-wise of the novels by him, but John Carter never learned anything from his mistakes. He does the same mistakes over and over again and it's still kind of the same story. His um, wife gets kidnapped twice again and he trusts the people who betray him all the time and he just never changes anything about that. Um, so yeah. Also I just read some comments which said that this is supposed to be the last good novel so I am definitely afraid of what these two novels will do to me but I finished it <laughs> and I think that counts for a lot. Um, I only have two left which Hopefully I will read one tomorrow and one the day after. Um, it's not realistic that I would read more than one a day from those because they just aren't enjoyable enough for me to do that. Um, because they are so samey. You know, if they would all been standalones from different authors, I would be like, yeah, they're, they're pretty much like the same book in a different cover but from different authors so you would at least have that variation but because they are from the same author and they read so similar to one another 
yeah, I'm kind of like, you know, they can be as good as they want to be. I just don't think they are good just because they feel like I've read the same novel eight times now, which kind of isn't the best, you know, in a series. Um, so yeah, but I finished it. <laughs> that was the goal for today. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Also, I listened to a bit more of Chernobyl yesterday. Um, it just it makes me angry, like how everyone tries to like talk themselves out of the situation and not being like responsible for anything and talking the numbers down and yeah i don't know it's a horrible it was a horrible situation and um it makes one angry to listen um to all of those horrible people who really like did things you know they brought the children into danger because they held fast to the belief that they should leave, let the people live a normal life and stuff like, like telling them that it's incredible, incredibly dangerous to go outside because of the radiation and stuff. It's like, it's, I hate it. I want to like hurt them. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. People can be so horrible. And um, yeah, but I'm still not through the, with that, so um, no final rating, but I'm still at like five stars because that book is just great. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog, even though the reading was a little bit slower. Um, and yeah, leave a like, a comment, maybe subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. And hopefully I will see you in the next vlog. Bye bye!